Right here it is. Frog legs. Look at that. Frog legs. Haven't tried this before. This is actually a, 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 a French a cuisine from France. And um, I'm going to give this a try. Wish me luck. So first, I just wanted to go ahead and add some flavor to these. So I went ahead and just, after I thawed them out first thing, put some Tabasco sauce on it. And then went ahead and put some buttermilk all up on this. I completely covered it. Uh, you could use regular milk. I love to use buttermilk on chicken, so I thought why not do it on some frog legs, right? And then I went ahead and topped it off with a little bit more Tabasco sauce. Let that soak for about 30 to 45 minutes. And while that's soaking, use some Old Bay seasoning. I just poured what I had left in this bowl and then didn't measure. I just threw a bunch of flour in there, probably close to equal amounts. I don't know. I mean, if you're baking a cake, you might need to be precise. We're not. So just put some flour in there and then just go ahead and stir it up. You're going to have your nice little old bay and flour mixture. You can put some slap yo mama seasoning, whatever you want, or just plain flour. It's up to you. But this is how we did it. Got that flour all nice and mixed up. And then it's time after about 45 minutes, I think is about what these said in there. Go ahead and pour them, pull them out. Don't they they kind of look funny, don't they? Look at them legs all sprawled out there. But we'll go ahead and pull out them frog legs and put them on a paper towel to go ahead and allow them to uh, try to get the excess uh, milk, uh, buttermilk off. Uh, don't really want too much on there. So I went ahead and placed another paper towel on top. It just kind of got some of the excess, not all of it. They're not dry. I didn't completely dry them, but now you can see uh, we're going to go ahead and add some seasoning. And I got some Cosmos Dirty or a Dirty Bird. This is just some dry rub. Uh, you could use salt and pepper or whatever, but I thought this would go well with it. It's got garlic, paprika, salt, pepper, just all kind of good flavors. It also makes these uh, legs look amazing. Just check it out, the color that's coming on them. And of course, I did both sides and completely got them covered. Then it's time for the fun part, to put the flour mixture on them. So just took each leg one at a time and dropped it in that flour mixture with that Old Bay seasoning and completely covered them up nicely. And then just set them aside and of course did each and every one the same way. This will be a nice little uh, batter uh, mixture that uh, will help them brown up hopefully give it some excellent flavor so you've got multiple seasonings on here you've got that dirty bird and now this flour and old bay and uh, just went ahead and did that it's just going to be great i do believe so this is the final step before we go ahead and head back out and add it to the cast iron skillet so if you've watched any of my videos before you probably know that i do like to create some things for the first time on this channel experience it with you guys um, and that's what i'm doing here haven't ever done this I've, i watched a video and one uh, video made them look real good she used butter and that's all she used but i always like olive oil so i'm going to use both huh? make it your own we're not going to follow someone else's to the exact but we're going to use their tips and we're going to try to okie smoke in it style but I am gonna add a little butter. Put that in there. Turn this down. Got it at 450, probably a little hot. I'm gonna turn it down to about 375 for a bit. Got a good flame, that's burning, I can tell. Mix that on up in there. The reason I like to use that oil is I think it helps to not burn the butter quite as bad. Uh, so that's why I went ahead and added some oil as well. Uh, the oil, this thing's leaning to the right, you can see. So uh, this side's probably gonna get cooked quicker. A little unlevel here, but that's okay. And now look at those. Got the frog legs right here. Uh, as you saw me season them, I went ahead and sprinkled some of the seasoning on top uh, a little more after I was done. Uh, just to kind of cover up some of the areas that wasn't covered. It smells good. It's got that old bay smell to it. And um, well, here we go.
I think I'm only going to do three at a time. I don't want to crowd it too much. We're going to cook about three minutes and then flip them. And you can see up under there on this pit, uh, pit boss, the fire flames. There they are cooking. That smells great. I'm actually going to move these where there's more grease and butter. I'll grab this skillet and move it out a little. I think you can see it a little better right there. There we go. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is John or Oki, as most people call me. This is the Oki Smoking Channel. Love cooking outdoors. If you do uh, like cooking outdoors like me all year round. It's a little chilly out here, not too bad right here in Oklahoma. Uh, 40, 50 degrees outside. And um, frying up some uh, frog legs. Oh my goodness, and here we go. We're gonna go ahead and flip one. They're delicate, gotta be careful. Ooh, it is delicate. Ooh. Oh man, look at that. And the temperature we're looking for is 145. Well done, it's there. It is done, they're done. Look at that. Woo! Ah, kinda broke the leg. They are delicate, you gotta be careful. Just take a look at that. It smells good. Let's go ahead and test it. I'll put those others on here in just a moment. So, here it is. Mmm. Interesting. Look inside that. Okay. The review guy, tell me what you think. Oh, let me pull this. Yeah, that one kind of fell apart a little. That's fine. That's a good. Good? That's really good. I like the flavor. You have like, not much of the Tabasco in it, but it gave some, some flavor there. Yeah. Dang, that's really good job. That's an A plus. Mm. <sighs> turned out excellent so we're gonna cook we're gonna cook up these other three now uh, I appreciate you watching tuning in. try some some frog legs uh, uh, they say it's a delicacy in France but uh, from my research I don't know that they eat it as much as some of the things you would hear uh, but just took a trip around the world to something that you see elsewhere and these were at Walmart now uh, they're not at every Walmart this was at a neighborhood market and of six Walmarts in an area, one had them. And you can look on their website and find them if you want to try this. Uh, but anyway, frog legs, thanks for watching. Cheers.